Airframe Inspection 1. When overhauling electrical equipment, all necessary information should be obtained from maintenance instructions published by the aircraft and or equipment manufacturer. 2. Which statement about airworthiness directives ADs, is true? Compliance with an applicable AD is mandatory and must be recorded in the maintenance records. 3. An aircraft may be flown beyond the 100-hour inspection requirement to reach a place where the inspection can be accomplished, provided it does not exceed 10 flight hours. 4. An aircraft that is due an annual inspection may be flown if a special permit has been issued for the aircraft. 5. For an individual, not a repair station, to conduct a complete 100-hour inspection on an aircraft and approve it for return to service requires a mechanic certificate with airframe and power plant ratings. 6. Which statement is correct regarding an aircraft that is found to be unairworthy after an annual inspection? Due to an item requiring a major repair, assuming approved data is used to accomplish the repair, an appropriately rated mechanic may accomplish the repair, and an IA may approve the aircraft for return to service. 7. Where would you find the recommended statement for recording the approval or disapproval for return to service of an aircraft after a 100-hour or annual inspection? 14 CFR Part 43. 8. Radio equipment installations made in accordance with supplemental type certificate data require approval for return to service by the holder of an inspection authorization. 9. The maximum time a 100-hour inspection may be extended is 10 hours. 10. Where would you find the operating conditions that make a 100-hour inspection mandatory? 14 CFR Part 91. 11. Which statement is correct when an aircraft has not been approved for return to service after an annual inspection because of several items requiring minor repair? An appropriately rated mechanic may repair the defects and approve the aircraft for return to service. 12. Large airplanes and turbine-powered multi-engine airplanes operated under Federal Aviation Regulation Part 91, General Operating and Flight Rules, must be inspected in accordance with an inspection program authorized under Federal Aviation Regulation Part 91, Subpart E.